Okay guys, now we're gonna talk about how to do the dream catchers because I know not everybody got to that part in the workshop. So you have it attached to the ring and you have to mold your ring to look nice. And this is just put rather sloppily together just for this demonstration. What you do, you come over the top of the ring here, and then you're gonna come under, up and through and pull your string all the way through. When you do that, you create this little loop and it's caught here by wanting to go to the right some more. So do that all the way around. And if you want the dream catcher to look really perfect, then you'll want this distance to be perfectly even. But for this demonstration, it's not really necessary. Just go like that, and we'll do two more. So one there, and then our last one here. Now, <clears throat> after you've made the full ring, you're gonna have to start coming to the inside, right? So you treat the strings now like you had been treating the rim. So for the first one, whenever you're starting a new row, you go to the middle of the next thread and do the exact same thing. And then bring it to the center. Then pinch the, this knot to keep it tight as you go to this next string. Again, going up and over. And then when you're coming back up and under, coming to the left side if you're moving in a clockwise direction. And then when you move, this is the last one. So you wanna still make this triangle here. So you're coming over and under this guy, and then coming up through, like so. Okay, that's how you finish a row. Now, if you wanna keep going, pinch here, midway point of the first one, over and under. Now you're making the next one, the next row. There you go. Now, if you want to finish it off, <clears throat> what I like to do is separate them. So keep one, keep one string on the needle. And cut the other one off. Separate the two strings. Now you can see where it's coming up, where they would come up together here. Then what I do is I just wrap this one around an extra time. So make a full circle of it. And then you can tie it to the other one. Overhand knot. Overhand knot. And then treat them as one, doing that like you're tying a balloon. Another trick to keeping your knots or to moving your knots up and down on the thread is to use a needle. Stick a needle in the middle and you can slide it 
pretty close all the way down to the bottom. Okay. And there you go. Those are our dream catchers. Of course, you can always put <clears throat> beads on the inside here. When you're adding your tails at the bottom, what you do, so let's say you want to make things hang down from here. What you do is you get a piece of string. You have the relative length that you want. So say we want this tail to be about this long. And we would cut a piece of string that's twice as long, fold it in half, taking the loop end, put the loop end up and over the ring. Open the loop end and pass the strings up and through it. Then you have a nice pretty little sort of knot looking thing from either way and that's how your tail will look. So that's how we did our dream catchers.